Do you see demoniac powers behind the recent attacks on the Holy Father? The devil is at work. As St. Peter says so well in 1 Peter chapter uh, 5, verse, uh, verse uh, uh, 7, 8, and 9, he says, Your enemy is only one, the devil, who is like a roaring lion seeking him and devour. The first St. Peter says, Be vigilant, but don't be afraid. Be cool and calm. Therefore, the evil one will want to attack above all the leaders in the church, uh, the priests, more important, the bishops, and most important, the pope. Fortunately, we have a pope who is always looked upon as being very theoretical, very theological, very rational, and he st stunned the whole world by writing a first encyclical not on faith or reason, but on love. And he startled the whole world by saying what the church needs is the culture of Pentecost. And he started the whole world more by saying that the church needs 3,000 more exorcists. Will you find the 3,000 more exorcists? That's my problem. The moment I became the vice president of the Association of Exorcists in 1994, I found among those 100 exorcists there, 90% uh, were Italians. Three or four were from England, three or four were from America states, and three or four were from France. And I said, how could you call this an international association? So then, from there, every country I went to, I would promote this association, and thanks be to God, now people come all over. To give one instance, one of our first meetings, there were two priests from Poland, professors in the seminary that attended our program, and they were so impressed by what I said, that when they went back to Poland, they went and met the bishops and spoke about this conference. And then the bishops said, all right, and now, there were, there were four exorcists in Poland. Within two years, there were 44 exorcists. And they have a meeting every six months. And we have a European conference on deliverance every July, like this time, 13th to 17th of July at Chesterkova, every odd year, 2009. And every even year, next year, 2010, we have our international meeting of exorcists in Cola Valencia, near Assisi, near Rome in Italy. What do you think about the famous saying of Pope Paul VI that the smoke of Satan has entered the church? He is 101% true. <laughs> the many things happening in the church, unfortunately, which uh, seem to be signs of the power of Satan uh, wanting to attack the church above all. Satan is not interested in people that will not harm him, but he will be very angry with those especially in this ministry, like myself, who are going around the world. My main ministry is now only uh, bringing to awareness of the church the ministry of healing and, more important, of deliverance and even of exorcism. So he is not happy at all. And, and I was so surprised that a, a man like Pope Paul VI, in 1972, the 12th of November, he gave a talk at his weekly audience at Castel Gandolfo. And what was the topic of his uh, talk to the people? He says, I'm going to ask you a question. He didn't begin to speak. He says, begin, I'm asking a question. What is the greatest need of the church today? He paused a bit and he says, I'm going to give the answer myself. And don't think my answer is superstitious or stupid, but the greatest need of the church today is to know how to protect and defend itself against that evil that the Bible calls Satan. A man from a, a Pope like Pope Paul VI, who was a Secretary of State, therefore he was like not a, a pastor as such, but he was like an official, and still he said this, the greatest need of the church today is to know how to defend and protect itself against that evil, which is a personified evil, and that is called Satan, which in Hebrew means the enemy, or the devil, which in Greek means the enemy. We have only one enemy who shows himself under the guise of the terrorists of today, and we have only one friend, and that is Jesus. And Jesus even told us, he said, I don't call you servants anymore, now you are my friends. At the end of prayer, you always ask the intercession of Mary. Yeah. Because of what the Bible says, I do everything exactly what the Bible says. Nothing less, nothing more. 
The Bible has the answer to every human problem, every human situation. And therefore the devil knows the Bible very well, better than the professors of scripture and assemblies, but is afraid. Therefore the Pope now had a three week seminar on the word of God, because as the document on evangelization says, that the most important tool to evangelize is the Bible. The most important way to evangelize is by the power of the Spirit. And Mary is the star of evangelization. As chapter 3 of the book of Genesis says, Jesus, God promised in chapter 3 verse 15, that told the serpent that uh, the Messiah that will send will crush the power of Satan by the woman then crushing the head while he will try to hurt by the tail. So I've seen this very clearly. Often sometimes difficult cases, the moment I sit to the intercession of Mary and therefore the rosary and the powerful prayer, the incredible happens quickly.